So, Brian, you have a great new shop, the workshop you're recording in now. You do a lot of different projects in it, but and it's awesome. But you had a challenge, I, I recall, and that was with the lighting. Right. I mean, this this building is pretty big. It's 40 by 60. And the previous owner, all he had was a couple of uh, dim fluorescent tubes up on the wall on one side. And uh, and that was really it. So it was uh, quite a bit of a challenge. So I did some research and uh, here's what I came up with. So, Paul, when I bought this place in Tennessee, it came with a 40 by 60 barn. Pretty big. It's great space. And the only lighting that it had were two fluorescent tubes up on the wall. It wasn't enough for, for general use. So what I did is I added these UFO style high bay LEDs that light up this place perfectly. All right, Brian. Now I know wherever I set up a workshop, whether it's my garage or in my basement, and we'll probably cover that later, my unfinished uh, space in my basement. When you have large spaces like this, it's typical. They're not lit well. And it's extremely important, in, you know, in my opinion, whether you have your workspace in a garage or a basement or wherever, that you get good lighting. There's no excuse not to have it. Exactly. And we're not talking about these lights here that we're using to film this right. episode. We're talking about just the general overhead lighting. And uh, yeah, so I found those hyper lights. That's the brand. And they come, uh, the ones I used are 250 watts each. Uh, they are uh, good for like 24 foot ceilings. So I have them up very high. I do scaffolding and everything to get them up there. Um, but uh, they do great. I have six of them in this uh, part of the, the barn, the garage, whatever you want to call it. And uh, they've got a good color temperature, 5,000 K. Uh, so that kind of matches some other stuff. That about daylight. Uh, so so right. tell me, though, uh, why you decided on this product instead of, say, LED, uh, you know, um, like fluorescence or LED. You know, the, they now have the LED tubes or some other uh, typical kind of like what you'd see in a, in a garage, someone's typical garage or home. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a cost benefit thing. So these 250 watt UFO style, high bay style, that's really the technical term for them are, um, they were about 150 some bucks a pop wow. uh, for these lights. They, um, and they provide a lot of light. They're LEDs. So they're, um, 35,000 lumens wow. each. So uh, it's a lot of light and I wanted a lot of light for a good price. And it's the price per watt, I think is really what convinced me to, to go with the hyper. And it's six fixtures, right? You said it's, it's amazing. Right. Six different it, You know, fixtures. if you had gone with one of those other solutions, yeah. you had like 24 or, or something like at right. least, I mean, you'd have a lot more light. Right. So tell me right. how right. these are wired. I mean, are they hardwired or, they, or is there, they don't use a typical, typical bulb fixture or anything like that, do they? No, no. So it's, they're LEDs. So it's an array of LEDs built right. into this. Um, cast metal uh, fixture, uh, and then they hang from a, a hook. They have a just a regular 110 volt plug on okay. them. So everything in the in the shop is wired with conduit. So I I, I ran conduit and I put plugs in uh, all the way along the uh, the beams, and then I just plug. Okay, them in so it's a, just a regular plug. Them. Plug them in. Yep. So you needed six locations. It sounds like a great solution, and obviously from. <laughs> From your, the video you just showed, it's uh, you got plenty of light. And in fact, I've had to ha ask you I to do. turn the lights off to do these videos because you get uh, too much right. light for the recording. Right. So it's awesome. Right. So yeah, they're great. The, um, you know, if I did something just like an eight foot uh, tube, which I have some back over the workbench uh, that you can see in that video, if you go back to it, I would have had to hang those down lower. And then I'm losing my uh, my clear span uh, to the ceiling. So. I didn't want so to you've had these now installed for several months, I believe. Um, yes. Any regrets or are you pretty much satisfied with them? No, I, I'm very, very satisfied with them. I think the only change I might make is these are dimmable and that requires a dedicated uh, dimming wire and a special switch for the dimming. And um, 
So I didn't run that wire. Uh, I figured if I want to add it in later, I can do that. That's a low voltage uh, control wire. So I didn't go that route, but uh, I might add that in someday. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for showing us how you light up the new shop. It looks great. And thanks for watching The Handy Guys. Thanks.